welcome back um so it's been a been a while um relative to the recent uploads but i wanted to give you a quick life update um i'm trying to get this as concise as possible and hopefully under five minutes but first things first um the eye looks disgusting i know but it's all fine i guess um i just strange myself probably from sneezing too hard or blowing my nose too hard or the gym um, but it does look a bit intimidating, so apologies for that. Um, yeah, the second life update is that uh, one of my cats had to uh, put down, um, and this really kind of surprised me how much emotion and grief I went through with the loss of Cardigan. So a couple of years back, we moved into this house um my partner at that time uh, we moved in with our two cats and this little stray that with a red collar they've started to come in and steal off cats food and then slowly she became more of a regular part of the family in here kind of dominating and making sure that she had her sunny spots in the in the house um and yes yeah, she, she became part of the family things moved around you know partners moved away and all of that stuff um for me loss has always been like a, a kind of laissez-faire kind of situation where you life goes on and all of that until we lost cardi b um that was tough uh losing a part of my family here is always so tough um to deal with but yeah it's not a great situation she um was relatively young as a cat and we wanted to make sure that she was fine because she came in with a scratch on her eye that developed into an infection. The vets actually treated that really well and gave her some antibiotics and she felt a little bit better but after a couple of days of being missing um, she came back really deflated and unable to breathe. Uh, I was kind of monitoring her regularly on, a, on like an hourly basis but the condition didn't get any better so we took it to the vets and that's when they told us that it could be like a, an underlying infection of tuberculosis that had been dormant for a while until this recent infection on her eye and from there they told us that it wasn't good news that her life condition and her quality of life would not be any better with further treatment in fact it's going to take some time for her to recover and she's she was in quite a lot of pain she was not acting herself and so we had to take the dreaded decision to kind of put her to sleep which comes with so many different kind of aspects of guilt and grief and that's what I've been dealing with for the last couple of weeks um, but again we obviously move on but if you told me that four years ago that I was going to be crying in the vet's um, office um, that much when they put her to sleep that I would have laughed in your face because man <laughs> back then I didn't really care for cats but now I'm like when we came home um, I had to hold my cat Chub there um, and Crumpus the other cat in the house really tightly because oh, it just kind of puts that question of morality and you know limited life that everyone has on this planet but before getting deep into that i just wanted to give you that update because it's always tough um and grieving process is always going to be kind of different based on who you are but um i found really helpful uh resource from the blue cross the link's down in the description somewhere um and they talk about kind of different aspects of pet loss and it's really helped me throughout that process um, and yeah it's never great but we always move on but yeah it's, it's, it's not it wasn't the happiest moment of my life uh, when we had to put it down but the next thing I wanted to tell you is we have a massive announcement to make um, for this channel um, and all the people that are collaborating with it are going to kind of disclose themselves soon but 
it's going to be fantastic i'm excited to share with you tomorrow but that means having to watch it tomorrow um but yeah um we are releasing new content and we're ex really excited for you to watch it um but lastly i wanted to thank everyone for the support that you've been giving us um this channel has grown from like 30 subscribers to nearly 10,000 in the last like three weeks which is amazing um so i can't thank you guys enough um and really lucky to have my support network so again shout out to those guys but lastly i wanted to just yeah thank you for watching anyway i will see you in the next one It's not my cap.